1941, British forces were stretched thin fighting the Germans, and London requested Canadian troops to help guard its Hong Kong colony. In November, two battalions arrived, the Winnipeg Grenadiers and the Royal Rifles from Quebec City. Neither battalion had had combat experience or serious training, and they were expecting only garrison duty. Three weeks after they landed, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, and everything changed. The Pacific Theater was suddenly at the forefront. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Six hours after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the Japanese 38th Division attacked Hong Kong. The Canadians fought tenaciously, but they were undertrained without necessary equipment and short of water and ammunition. It was a losing cause, but there were moments of great valor. On December 19th, A Company of the Winnipeg Grenadiers was surrounded with the Japanese lobbing grenades into their position. Company Sergeant Major John Osborne picked up several live grenades and lobbed them back. He couldn't get to one of them in time to throw, so he dove on it. He died instantly but saved his men. He was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross. On Christmas Day, D Company of the Royal Rifles was ordered to make a suicidal attack. Not one of them could believe such a preposterous order, wrote Sergeant George McDonnell. They took the position but suffered 26 dead and 76 wounded. Two hundred and ninety Canadians died in the fall of Hong Kong, and four hundred and ninety three were wounded. But what followed was worse. The Japanese soldiers murdered the wounded, raped and killed nurses, and brutalized the prisoners. Survivors were sent to prisoner of war camps where another two hundred and sixty four Canadians died of disease, starvation, or brutality. The Canadians who gave their lives are remembered by a memorial at the Sai Wan Bay War Cemetery on Hong Kong Island.